Have you noticed how society keeps fracturing? Hey, let me tell you about my best friend, Jesus. He knew that there would be fractured homes, fractured society, fractured communities. He knew that there would be people who would want to put their personal agenda or their group agenda over the agenda of God's Word. He knew that there'd be strife and animosity between the different classes and the races and all the rest. But he had the answer to that. It's unity in the body of Christ. In Psalm 133, 1, we're told, it isn't it a wonderful thing when God's people dwell in peace together. Jesus, the night that he was betrayed, the day before he was gonna be hanging on the cross, prayed a special prayer recorded in John chapter 17. And in that prayer, he said how he wanted to see unity Unity, just like he and the Father had, he wanted to see unity in the body. He didn't want compromises to be made with Bible truth or with morality or anything that, like that for the sake of unity, but he knew as people submit to him, Jesus, to all the truths of the Bible that we find from cover to cover, and to the mission and movement that he would raise up, that that is what would bring about unity. In fact, we're told there in Revelation 7, we're shown this beautiful picture that someday around the throne of God will be people drawn out of every nation, out of every tribal group, out of every language group, out of every people group that have surrendered to Him, His truth, and are part of His movement. Don't you want to be a part of that group like that? I know as I've had a chance to travel around the world, I've been in places where normally there'd be strife, like in Russia, and here I was an American, and yet we could wash each other's feet and praise the same God. I've been to countries where it's closed to Christianity, and yet within those countries, there are people who will gather together to worship God and pray for those who hurt them and do injury to them. This is the kind of unity that starts between us and God and flows out to the church body and then out to the world. This is what we will see someday at the very end gathered around Jesus' throne. Aren't you glad that Jesus provides that unity as we submit our ways and our agendas to him? Why don't you go and tell a friend about how he wants to bring down the barriers between people as we unite with Jesus. Do that today. Mm -hmm.